Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cash. Today I'm doing a video on hair affinity pills versus hair, skin, and nail gummies. If you want to know which one is going to work for you and how to grow your hair, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. And you don't want to miss any videos from me because it's going to be lit on this channel. Obviously, your hair on this video for hair because you want to know how to grow your hair and stuff. And with me, it's been a little process with it and I've been trying these two pills that I'm going to be talking about today. Both of these are really great. I haven't ever tried them together. I don't know if I would ever suggest that. Probably not. So Hair Fitting is the first hair pills that I've ever taken. I took this for like a month and a half straight about two years back or maybe a year ago. I feel like it's beneficial for you to know my hair process and the things that I was doing with my hair so you would know what I was doing in addition to taking these, you know? Because other people say my hair grew like three inches by taking Hair Affinity, but they were also washing their hair once a week or doing hair mask and doing hair treatments and all that stuff. I completely don't. So if I'm saying something works, it's because I've only been doing this. Well, what I was doing with my hair when I was taking Hair Affinity was I had braids and then I took them because I wanted to see the growth. My hair was itching. Actually, I had twists. I had Marley twists. I'll insert a video up here of when I was also talking about my Marley twists and I mentioned that I was taking Hair Affinity. My hair was very, very, very itchy with Hair Affinity. This makes your hair itch a lot. That's how you know your hair is growing because it's like non-stop itching, you know? Yeah, I had braids and then I went to a weave. I just pretty much kept my hair in protective styles. I didn't wash it anymore than I was supposed to. Also for me, my hair grows better when I don't touch it that includes washing it it just grows better like that so I probably wash my hair like once every month because like I would keep my my weave in for like a month and I would keep my braids in for like a month I'm just gonna tell you the cons for this the first con for hair affinity for me is that the pills were super huge I cannot take pills at all I'm not a pill taker it's just not for me why do you think I don't do Molly hello this is how big the pill is it's definitely longer than my freaking fingernail like this is not okay and you have to take two a day it's not gonna work for this is also my second bottle of hair affinity. That's why this looks so full. Third con is that, do you see my cat right there? I have to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water with this. Like just sipping a bottle of water a day is really not gonna help you. Also, again with the water, it will break you out. It will break you out if you do not drink a lot of water. I don't know, I'm definitely acne prone, so I would get like pimples here and there, you know, but like with this, like it was like a lot of pimples popping up all at one time. It was just too much for me. So I was like, you know what, forget about it. I'm gonna try hair, skin, and nails. I've seen a lot of things about, well, I, I do my research for things, so a lot of people said it worked for them, a lot of people said it didn't do anything for them, and I took this for a month straight. This is now going on my second month. This is my second bottle. I took it for a while, but I didn't feel like my hair was growing, but I was like, I'm gonna still finish off the bottle because one, these gummies taste so freaking good that like I would just eat it even if it's not doing anything for me just because it tastes good and for my nails I have always been very weak and brittle I've been getting a and c now which I feel helps with strengthening my nails but at the same time I feel like this works for my nails by strengthening them they haven't been growing any faster than they usually grow but they are stronger and that's better for me so that's that for my nails now my hair was itching a lot and I figured because I had a weave in for like about two two and a half months and I felt like that's probably why my hair was itching so much because I needed to take it out. <clears throat> Sorry my voice is like cracking for some reason. But my hair was itching a lot and I figured because I needed to take it out which could have been the reason why as well. But when I took my hair out my hair grew so much like I want to say it was like at least an inch growth. My hair freaking grew like what? How? And I was like <gasps> The vitamins I've been taking, it's gonna take like at least a month for you to be able to see some results for your hair. I feel like it made it a little bit thicker. Yeah, this is definitely, man, man. With this, it takes longer to see results, but it tastes better and I'm more motivated to take it and it also helps your nail. With Hair Affinity, you see results faster because Hair Affinity definitely helped grow my hair. But I was not gonna be consistent enough for it to help grow my hair. Do you see what I'm saying? It could work fast, but if I'm not putting in the work to do it every single day, two pills a day, it's just not gonna work. It really depends on you. And if you want your hair to grow fast, do hair affinity. If you want your hair to grow and your nails to grow, and if you don't care about the time, and 
And if you don't like taking pills, this, okay? I did notice that after a while recently, I was getting like a lot of breakouts and I couldn't really tell why. I figured maybe it was my period coming and also because I've been taking like shots of apple cider vinegar to try to lose weight, which that's for a whole nother video. So I was like, maybe it could be that. But then I'm like, this has like a good amount of biotin. And biotin definitely breaks you out if you don't drink enough water. So I would say that you still have to drink a good amount of water for this. Definitely not nearly as much as here Affinity. But I feel like they both work really good. It just depends on you and what you like to do as far as how much to take and when to take it. Um, when I was taking hair Affinity, I would try to do one in the morning and one before I go to sleep. And that's what I used to do when my hair grew. And then with this one now, it says to take two of them, but I take three. I take all three of them in the morning. The main point I'm trying to make to sum this all up is that these Nature's Bounty definitely are good contestant up against hair Affinity, in my opinion, because it did exactly what I wanted it to do. And I'm just really happy with my hair growth. If you guys want to try it, this is about no more than $10. Um, they also sell this at Walmart. They also have a bigger pack if you want it. Alright guys, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was beneficial to you in some way. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button so I know that you guys like these kind of videos. And yeah, comment down below what video you want to see next. I'm doing a Q&A. So also comment down below some questions that you would want to see me answer so you can be featured in my next video. Alright guys, love you. Bye.